Good morning lovelies. Today is day two of the Body Boss Challenge and it is a rest day so this afternoon I'll be going for a nice long walk just to keep my body moving. I'm not that sore this morning. I thought I'd be really 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 sore. It's more in my butt and my legs and I'm a bit stiff. All in all a good sign for yesterday. <laughs> Today is mainly going to be cooking breakfast, getting the house sort of clean, being a bit domestic and I've also got a photo shoot to edit as well for clients. So not going to be much of a vlog, but I will film when we go out for our walk and I'll see you all then. Okay, so that is it. That is my breakfast. Scrambled eggs and some salad, my inositol, just a glass of water and my lovely vitamins and some vitamin D3. Yummy! So today I'm at home basically just you know doing home stuff and I'm feeling incredibly stressed. I it's it's so funny since trying to conceive trying to have a baby I find myself more stressed about the little things more often like we have a house inspection next week nothing is clean in the house we've both got work to do and there's no way it's going to get done. But Josh is always, you know, he's got the perspective of, like, you know, we'll get it done, don't worry. It's all, like, he's super positive, I'm super pessimistic. And I think, like, just the, the frustration of trying to conceive and nothing working and then all these health issues and all of that just really kind of, I don't know. It just, it's making me more stressed than what I normally am and I break down very easily and um, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> Okay, so just finished the groceries, got all the fruit and veg for the day, or for the next couple of days at least. Oh my gosh, one of the most daunting things ever is trying to vlog in a supermarket. If you have never tried it before, I do suggest going and trying it. In Australia, it's actually pretty much illegal to film in marketplaces, supermarkets, shopping centers, that kind of thing. But it's like an unwritten law kind of thing so you kind of try and hide your camera all the time and I'm not very confident in front of the camera yet and I really need to get a car mount for this car because I am currently vlogging while driving and it is not safe at all um, but yeah so there was another $95 worth of fruit and vegetables basically for the week uh, we'll do that probably three or four times during the week because we are eating so much food with this uh, regime of eating two to three hours every two to three hours it's a bit ridiculous but that's the breaks that's what you're going to do and hopefully it'll pay off with body boss um, it'll all sort of come together and and work in a way that I um, will see results fingers crossed so this is what I mean by struggling I mean Australia wake up 
we pay way too much for our fruit and vegetable and our groceries and if you want the world to be healthy if you want the world to be fit and happy you need to lower the price of your fruit and vegetables this is a typical 95 97 almost 100 dollar grocery shop it is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous there's hardly anything there i've got what have i got seven tomatoes that will last me two that will last me seven meals because i have one every meal two punnets of strawberries bag of snow peas bag of spinach leaves bag of almonds bottle of tomato sauce 18 pack of free range eggs which is actually a good thing i mean they are a little bit more expensive but free range is definitely better for you and also it's 18 pack so it's going to last us quite a while we have two for every morning for breakfast um so we do go through a few eggs a piece of watermelon some milk and then i've got some raw sugar for josh's coffees and some tupperware containers girly products bacon mince steak chicken sausages these are lean chicken sausages and chicken diced chicken we do eat a lot more of like your steaks and like your fresh um, pure meats as opposed to something like chicken sausages or the mince which is which has a lot of fillers and whatnot in them but I like to have these in the fridge just in case we run out of food and we aren't going down to the grocery store um, before lunch or something and then I can just pop this in and, and cook it up and it's it's good but that is not much for $95 that is pretty pretty sad and another sad thing is that half of that food will only last us like a couple of days I'll be back at the grocery store spending another $95 on more fruit and vegetables and and more bits and pieces okay so lunch is actually an adaptation of have you ever been to kfc and had popcorn chicken i don't know if that's a thing in other countries here in australia popcorn chicken is amazing so what i do is i buy some stir fry chicken breast pieces and add just some bread crumbs and then i cook them lightly in a fry pan and brown them up and it's beautiful it tastes amazing we get an old el paso lemon and herb crumb seasoning that you, they use for like i don't know what they are some some lemon and herb chicken thing they use we just use it for our popcorn chicken and it's really really nice and then i've got my normal salad time now okay so we're off on our afternoon walk it's about 45 minutes <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how far around it is but it's quite a quite a journey but it's a beautiful lake and we love walking here so it's, it's a really cool sort of lake area it has this walking path the whole way around there's Josh <laughs> and uh, we've got a dog park and a kids playground and heaps of things for people to do and we're not even half the way around yet and I'm already puffed my legs are super sore and stiff from yesterday but I'm hoping this walk will sort of warm them up a bit I really like having a walking track that is actually like a measured distance around something that is purposely built for walking as opposed to just walking the streets because I find it doesn't give me a goal to get to the finish line that kind of thing so I really like 
that there's a beginning and an end to this and I can push myself to get to the end. I'm hoping by the end of this I'll be able to get around twice in a day, which will be really, really, really good. Fingers crossed. Look at some of the houses up here. This place is like amazing. Look at the pretty pink clouds. So pretty. It's so pretty here when the sun goes down. Look at all those really pretty colours. So, so pretty. Don't you think? You know you're in the city when your walking track is right near the M1, which is the main highway from the Gold Coast to Brisbane. It's so noisy. We're finished. All done. <laughs> all done, all done, all done. <sighs> Sorry about the super loud noises. Yeah, that's what happens when you're on the highway. Time to get back in the car, go home and cook some dinner and get this vlog uploaded for tomorrow. Bye guys. <sighs> okay. I've got to do one more thing. I forgot while I was out there walking because I got spooked by a woman. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of the vlog. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below and the bell if you want to get notifications of when I upload new videos, which is usually every five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I will see you all tomorrow with another video. Love you all. Bye-bye.